Okay, let's go over the magic numbers. You're going to need to know this chart when you're doing IPv4 in the fourth octet. Uh, this will come in handy when you are working on your skills exam. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you that you just have to subnet out of the fourth octet. You're not going to have to worry about the um, first, second, or third octets for the skills exam. Uh, our fourth octet has eight bits in it. Okay, so that represents our eight bits. And with each bit, I'm going to do it to the second power. So we've got 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256. This is considered our magic number. You'll use this number when you start uh, subnetting your network out, and I'll show you that in a different video. We're going to subtract 2 from each of these, and the reason why we subtract 2 from each is one is your net ID, or your IP subnet, and the other one is your broadcast ID. This is your usable host. Okay. If you have something that needs to be subnetted out to a network that has 16 hosts in it, you can't use this one that has the magic number of 16 because you only have 14 usable hosts. Okay. Now, if we have 8 bits for host, that means that this has a prefix of slash 24. And we do not use this one because there are no usable hosts. Okay? And an 8 bit 24 prefix, you can only have one subnet because all 8 bits are being used in that subnet. From there, we can go to 2, 4, 8, 16. 3264. Okay. You need to be able to come up with your subnet mask, and our subnet mask will begin here. That's going to be 255, 255, 255, because we have 24 ones turned on, dot zero, and we have eight zeros. So this is our dotted decimal. And this is binary. You will have to list both. Um, so get in the habit of being able to do that. Uh, the 7 bit, which has a prefix of 25, means we have 25 ones turned on. That dotted decimal, whoops, is 255.255.128. So that is 0 plus our magic number is 128. From there, we're going to work our way back up our chart. We've got 128 plus 64, that's 192. Two. 192 plus 32, we're going to have 224. Two forty eight and two fifty two. 
this is always your WAN subnet. Okay, and again, these are the magic numbers when we're doing variable subnet length. Okay, this isn't when you're doing it by class, and this isn't when you're just taking your largest network and breaking out the entire thing by that subnet. Several of your exercises, you would do the entire range let's say at a slash 27. This is variable length so that we can maximize the number of IP addresses that we're using.